Hello everyone, myself Shivam and I am a BTEC student from DTU. So guys, from this video onward, I'll be frequently uploading the videos in which I'll give full explanation on the solution of recent code forces contests that have occurred and I'll also be adding few tips on how you should have approached that question when you first read it. Few times I'll be adding my blunder as well which I made during the live contest which cost me a lot so that you can guys you all can learn from it without actually doing the same mistake. So let's get started. We'll be taking Code Forces Div 2 contest number 637 in this round in today's video. Let's read our first question that is A. Nasya and Rice. In this question, we have been given this Nasya just made a huge mistake and scattered a whole package of rice on the floor. Mom will come soon. If she sees this, then Nasya will be punished and put in a corner. In total, Nasya sprinkled n grains. Nasya read that each grain weighs some integer number of gram from a minus b to a plus b inclusive. That is, a weight of a single gram can be between a minus b to a plus b. We have to consider a minus b and a plus b also as an option as it is given that this is inclusive. And the total way package is C minus D to C plus D grams. That is the total weight of N grains which we have given can be of this range from C minus D to C plus D gram inclusive. The weight of the package is sum of the weight of all N grains in it. So help Nasia understand this information can be correct. In other words, check whether each grain can have such a mass that the ith grain weighs some integer number xi and in total they weigh from C minus D to C plus D inclusive. That is, we have to find that can we give a weight to a single gram such that when we sum them all up, then the total weight of our n grams can fall in this range C minus D to C plus D. That is what we have to tell Nasya. Let's read the input. The input consists of multiple test cases. The first line contains a single integer t. The number of test cases. The next t line contain a description of test case. Each line contain 5 integer n. The number of grains and Nasya counted n a b c d which have been mentioned earlier. For output we have to print yes if it can produce the total weight in the given ranges and no otherwise. I like to add a tip always when you first read the question always verify with the input and output given as a sample so that you can understand the question better or you can verify that whatever you have understood is correct or not. So for this question we have to approach like this. I will also add always write down all the information in a register first and make your algorithm, design your algorithm according to the given constraint and time complexities. Then you start coding your question as it will save you time and stop you from making silly mistakes. So, n number of grains are given, weight of each gram can grain sorry can be between a minus b to a plus b total weight of grain can be between c minus d to c plus d so we find the minimum weight that can be possible if we take a minus b as a weight a minus b is the minimum weight we can take so if we take a minus b as a weight of all n grains will be having the weight which would be minimum we cannot produce minimum weight than this so it will act as our lower bound of the range if we multiply n into a minus b this will be called as same mini and we cannot produce minimum weight from this for our upper bound what can be the maximum weight we can produce to know that we will multiply n with a plus b as a plus b is the maximum weight 
of a single gram so if we take maximum weight for all n grains will be have this much of weight say maxi it will be the maximum weight which can be produced we have been given in question already the what can be our total weight that is from c minus d to c plus d so we have calculated our range that our weight according to a and b given can be up to minimum this and up to maximum this that is minimum to minimum we can have n into a minus b weight and maximum to maximum we have n into a plus b weight so if our total weight can fall any of the weight from c minus d to c plus d can fall between the range mini to max that is the weight total weight which i have given can fall in our criteria then we have to print yes otherwise we have to print no so let's see its coding part i'll be taking int n to represent the number of grains t to represent the number of test cases a b c and d that has been mentioned above so first we take the input t number of test cases while our test case last will run this loop then we'll take input n a b c and d let's calculate our minimum weight as n into a minus b and our maximum weight as n into a plus b so we have calculated our ranges that our weight should fall in this criteria i have created a i for traversal for i equals to we have to check that whether any of the weight from c minus d to c plus d can fall in this range mini to max so will i trade from c minus d that is i equals to c minus d i less than equals to c plus d i plus plus so if our i is greater than equals to mini and i is less than equals to maxi then we will create one bool variable bool variable are those which have only true false value that can it can only store zero or one value in this form will create a bool answer equals to false first we initialize it with false so if we find any weight that lie in this range will change answer equals to true and break the loop after this we simply check if answer then see out yes else see out no guys i am using sublime to run my code as you guys all can see that it produce the similar interface as in given in the competitive way we have given the question we have written the code we'll take the input and copy it and we'll paste it here and test run that our code was right or not oh we found a bug small a it produce this output these output sorry so we check yes no yes no yes and our output is yes no yes no yes so it produced the same output let's submit it in this manner you submit your answer and it get accepted that means the solution of our program is totally correct
if you guys have any doubt regarding regarding the explanation you can comment it down i'll see it and i'll clear it please don't forget to like and subscribe if you love the content and want to get notified for the future videos which will be as frequent as the contest on code forces thank you